from your experience and perspective, what do you think helps make a customer successful when they're coming to Happy or Not? How do we support them? So it, it's there's a lot that goes into it. And it all starts at the sales process. Yeah. The first thing we have to do when we're talking to a customer is really figure out what they need and how are we going to help them achieve what they need. And that starts by doing a, a long discovery process, really understanding their business, everything from you know, every, every part of their business we need to know about. And every business is just different. And you're always trying to um, talk to different people within a business. You're not always talking to the operations guy. Sometimes you're talking to marketing. Sometimes you're talking to the CEO. Sometimes you're talking to a district manager. And everybody sees things a little bit differently. So it's really important to understand across the organization what everybody really needs uh, to make that business successful and to make the program successful. So it starts there, asking a lot of questions, getting a really clear understanding of what they're trying to achieve and how we can help them achieve that. The next part is onboarding. That's kind of where you come in. Yeah. The onboarding process is extremely important. We want to make sure that they fully understand all the different tools that we ha that they have available to them now that we have our devices in their locations and they have the ability to get real-time information from their customers. Um, from there, we want to make sure that it transfers into a, a, a solid customer success role. So that's that is a little bit more involved than just onboarding. So that's everybody from the salesperson to the onboarding person to the customer success person having a clear understanding of what this customer needs. And from there, the customer success person develops a relationship with the customer that was long lasting. And we try to make sure that we're driving toward a business impact that they express to us at the beginning of the sales process what they need from us. Um, so all three of those different areas, the onboarding person, the salesperson, and the customer success person are constantly working together to make sure that we understand what the customer needs, we're providing them the solution, we're helping them understand the data, we're helping them make the data more and more actionable as they go, we're helping them identify ways that they can increase the feedback, helping them identify ways that they can improve the feedback, identifying different trends, whether it's looking at the open feedback, whether it's comparing them to other competitors in their industry, looking at benchmark information, really understanding their industry, what's moving, what's changing, uh, what trends are happening, and always communicating that, communicating best practices across convenience stores, across grocery, across other different retail areas or employee experience, regardless of what it is, just really having an open line of communication uh, between everybody on our side as our team and everybody on their side uh, so we can help them achieve the goals that they're trying to achieve. And not only achieve those goals, but then once they achieve those goals, let's elevate those goals a little bit, get to the next level, and keep moving up the ladder. Yeah, and what I really hear in what you're saying, if I would boil it down to one word, is collaboration, mm -hmm. right? In, in two ways. One is that we are collaborating with our customer. We are there with them from the beginning process while they're in sales, through transitioning in, through onboarding, through the lifetime that they're with us. And we're next to them every step of the way. And then the other aspect of the collaboration is between our teams, mm -hmm. right? Um, I come from the training and success side and you're coming from the sales side, but we work really closely together because you've already figured out the need Right. from the customer. Mm -hmm. So by the time they come to me, I'm able to collaborate with you and get that information so that I can use their time in the best way possible, right. not asking them questions that they've already answered. Exactly. And spend that time instead doing real training, right? Because when we train well and when we onboard well, we don't just help that person, we create an advocate for happy or not within their company because they're not on, they're going to be not only the person that got that training for themselves to use our analytics program and to use the device but they're going to be able to share and even garner excitement w within their own team because right. they've become like an a, a happy or not expert exactly. basically 